Well, my name is Rick Schwartz. I've been a minster for 45 years, and I've worked at the company Natick Minster Corporation for 47 years. Being a member of the Minster Village Council for 35 years, I really understand the infrastructure and what a great community we have. Hi, my name is Nicole Clooney. I am on Minster Village Council. I've been on council for 12 years now. One of the things that's really impressive about Minster is how a lot of the big businesses that are here started here. Even Dannon started out as the Meyer Dairy Farm and you know, they purchased that and then just began expanding. Yeah, I'm really proud to, to be in such a small community of slightly less than 3,000 people and to have such a wonderful amount of renewable energy to, to serve our customers and to serve the large businesses we have here. So I mentioned that I work for Natick Minster, but we have Precision Strip as a large employer, so that one of the largest Dan and yogurt facilities in the world is in Minster. Part of that is because of the work ethic of the, of the local area. We've got some wonderful talent here as well as uh, really hardworking people that just show up every day and, and they'll do what they say they're going to do. I actually started out uh, mowing grass and sweeping uh, floors for the, for the electric farm when I was 17 years old. By the time I went to school and they found out that I could do budgeting and that kind of stuff, I was doing the electric department's budget. My name is Don Herod. Uh, I am the village administrator, and I have been here for 27 years as a village administrator. It, it really is a, a economic development tool for the village. We have Dan Own, uh, or in America, Dan and Yogurt. The North America's largest yogurt plant is located in Minster. Uh, what we're doing by having that solar is enabling them to meet their corporate goals for reduced carbon footprint, also re re renewable energy goals. There's more corporate pressure these days for companies to have sources of renewable energy. And us being a Japanese company, we pay attention to uh, renewable energy. But Dan and Yogurt is a French-based company. They're also extremely interested in renewable energy and being able to, to have that position that they're using renewable energy to support their manufacturing operations here. As a municipal electric provider, uh, you know, our customers for our electric system are our residents. Our owners are our residents, our businesses, our people that live here. So, you know, we're not out here to make a profit for, for them. We're out here to provide reliable service to those customers at a very reasonable price. And solar allows us to do that. In the summertime or very hot days, there's a extra peak demand that the village has to deal with. And we purchase a certain amount of electricity, and then when we reach or go beyond the amount that we've purchased, a lot of times we have to go out onto the open market to purchase what extra electricity we need. Now that's at a premium cost. So what's beautiful about the solar panels is they are functioning best on those hot, sunny days. So we have extra electricity coming in on those days, which helps us on our cost for not having to go out onto the open market. You know, we get the transmission and the capacity benefits from it. Uh, that saves us about $250,000 a year. It all gets passed back to the, the businesses, all gets passed back to the residents of town through, through the power cost of justice. We look at the cost savings that we see of the solar. We look at the economic development benefits that solar gives our companies. But there's also the, the right thing to do. Uh, and that is to reduce our carbon footprint. Hey, Village of Minster, how you doing? This is former Ohio State linebacker Chris Spielman. I know there's a lot of Buckeye alum there and some great Buckeye fans. Uh, just congratulations on being responsible with the climate and everything you're doing to, to keep that under control. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, or whatever holiday you celebrate. Happy Holidays, how's that? But I just want you all to know how much being an alum uh, how much I appreciate uh, the fans and Ohio State football, and I'm saddened that uh, the Ohio State game was canceled, but that's all right. Bad things happen in life. It's all about the response, and I expect the Buckeyes to respond in a big way. Hopefully, they'll get into college playoff and give Alabama or Clemson a run for their money. I hope you guys have a great holiday, and uh, thank you for being responsible, and go Bucks. Take care, Minster.